Negotiations for a new contract for BTC employees appear to be slowed. This is executives of the Bahamas Communications and Public Officers Union, which represents hundreds of line staff, say all the warning signs were there that cable and wireless, BTC's new owners, had a poor labor relations record. Yet they say the government did not take heed to protect the jobs of employees at BTC prior to the company's 51% sale on April 6th of 2011. Yesterday, BCPOU President Bernard Evans said the union wants much more than a 4% increase. During the last contract in 2009, Mr. Evans said employees got an 8% increase and a $5,000 lump sum payment. Now all that's being offered is a 4% increase and a 2% lump sum payment in the second and third years. Now they say the offer is unreasonable as BTC has realized much savings, much of it due to the 35% savings in base annual salaries after the voluntary, voluntary separation of 400 BTC employees. Savings relies from reduced medical coverage. Savings relies from renegotiated contracts with local and international vendors. Savings relies from reduced commission to phone card vendors and distributors through the launch of Easy Top Up. The items mentioned above are a small part of, a, of many cost-cutting and efficiency-based initiatives that BTC has undertaken in the past year. It is only fair that the workers who have contributed to the improvements and are now responsible to maintain the new environment rece must receive equitable compensation. Attempts were made to reach BTC's management and get a response, but up to news time, we were unsuccessful in doing so.